Welcome back to Studio 701. There's nothing better than receiving a homemade item from a little one. That's exactly what our next guest is collecting mm -hmm. in hopes of brightening others' day. Sam Swanson, owner of Lily Valley Baby, a boutique in North Bismarck, joins us for this story. Thanks again for being here, Sam. Thank you for having me. Well, you post incredible items on Facebook Thank of you. your <laughs> products. But I noticed the other day that you had a call to action for people yes. to get their children's crafts. So just yes. tell us what inspired this. So honestly, I mean, we know COVID has kind of been unprecedented times lately. And for some reason lately, um, just people living in the assisted living facilities has really been on my mind. I mean, they've been in lockdown for months now, you know, as being one of the more vulnerable um, groups of people that are kind of affected by COVID and it's scary. And I just was thinking, you know, like if I was still in lockdown, I would probably, you know, anything would brighten my day. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking exactly what you just said, what's better than a homemade craft from a child? And given the business that we're in and we work with kids in, or not directly, but you know, mm -hmm. that's our target market. Yep. Um, I knew our customers would probably be on board with something like this. So we just wanted to take a step back from our typical posts of, hey, come in and check out this product we have in our store, and hey, would you guys help us out with something? We kind of have this idea that maybe might help brighten the day of some people in our community. And that's kind of how it was born. So what kind of crafts did you ask for? I mean, we've got some fun little, it looks like yeah. for a door and everything. So honestly, anything. We left it wide open to anything people wanted to do. Um, we're just so thankful for any crafts that people want to bring in. Um, so we had kind of mentioned, you know, maybe something small enough that they could display on a table or on their fridge so they can see it each day. But it could be anything as simple as a colored picture, as you can see, this one's got some scribbles on it. And I think on the back, this one's kind of a versatile. <laughs> <laughs> they can flip it from day to day. Um, so really anything that they wanted to do and we know obviously skill levels are different based on age and honestly we would take all the way up through whatever age people want to make them um, and then just deliver them to the community yeah that's so great what was the response like from your customers people who saw this Aww. post on Facebook what did you hear from people about this they drive? loved it um, I was really surprised actually by the response that we got um, we had so many people messaging the store we've been getting calls even yesterday I've still been getting calls from um, schools in the community like hey we would love to shoot this out to some of our teachers via email if you just want to send us over some of the information we would be happy to send it out to them so because of that we've actually decided to even extend it beyond today was our deadline for turning in the crafts but we will extend it all the way into next week and then deliver to the assisted living facilities um, starting tomorrow. Oh, that is so fantastic. And you reached out to them as well. What yes. was the response from the assisted living facility about receiving something like this? They loved it. Um, I honestly didn't know if it was something we could even do because with COVID, it's just hard to know, like, can we bring something in from outside? I didn't know what the rules were, um, but they said that was absolutely fine. We can bring things in, we just can't go in. So we'll just deliver them and then I think they will distribute them to the residents and I just hope that it brightens their day. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have to get a picture of a resident receiving one of these and hopefully awesome. get a good smile out of them. Yeah. Um, where did these come from? Do you know who created these? Are these just customers or people that you know? Um, so honestly these some of them were dropped off at the store when I wasn't there last week so I don't know exactly where those came from. Um, that one there, I think my daughter actually made it <laughs> yesterday, and I was like, it was in my car, Perfect. so I brought it in with me. Um, and this one, my mother-in-law actually made Aww. for me to take over. That's so cute. She used to be a teacher, so it yeah. was really sweet of her to make some crafts, too. But we yeah. might have to make something, Amber. I know. I was thinking the same thing. You know, my daughter <laughs> makes stuff every day and then you start they start to pile up oh yeah <laughs> real quickly <laughs> am i supposed to save all of these things or does that make me a bad mom if i throw one away on right. occasion i mean but eventually. putting it in perspective of taking it collecting it mm -hmm. to a resident who hasn't maybe gotten to see their grandchildren yeah. or great-grandchildren right. and what that might bring to them mm -hmm. um so you know do you have a personal um reason behind this drive or anybody that you're kind of thinking about in your heart um kind of so I personally have a few family members that are in assisted living and I know you know we don't get to see them as much as we would like to and when we do it's these very strict rules or maybe it's not a very long period of time that we get to visit with them and it just doesn't feel the same I mean we can't even hug them so 
I'm thinking about people that maybe have family that don't live here and mm -hmm. haven't really gotten to see anybody. Mm -hmm. um, it's who I really am hoping that these crafts kind of touch. Yeah, well, I think it's a fantastic idea. I'm so glad you um, joined us to tell us all about it, and we do hope to follow up with you on the responses that you Absolutely. get from the residents. Thank you so much, Sam. Now, you. you can still participate if you would like to. All you need to do is take your artwork or crafts to Lily Valley Baby, and their store location is at 1408 43rd Avenue Northeast in Bismarck. And the plan, again, possibly to do a drop-off tomorrow. And um, thank you so much, Sam. Thank you so much for having me on. All right. Uh, keep it here. Lots to come on Studio 701. We put our business spotlight on the Dakota Children's Advocacy Center. Learn all about the good work they're doing.